Hello and welcome to Need for Speed World, the game which is shutting down in less than 90 days. To those who are not up to speed with the news, yes I'm dead serious and it's quite unfortunate to be honest. Mainly because most of us invest quite a lot of time in building our car collections, and as for me, well, I invested 30 bucks in it. So it's quite unfortunate. Anyway, World isn't the only one that's going down. EA has also announced that other few other free-to-play games, such as Battlefield Heroes I think, are also going offline. Truth be told though, I don't play any of the other games so I don't really care. Plus this video is supposed to be only for speed world so uh, what? Wait, why am I renting on other games? Now then. World isn't exactly the best online racing games, I admit, but it's definitely one of those which had a lot of potential. Although it was established back in 2010, I started playing in 2011, but what caught my attention was its nostalgic setting. A combination of Rockport City from Most Wanted and Pelman City from Carbon, both of which are the places I recognize from my childhood. It also introduced the Rockport Turnpike Bridge, which may potentially lead to Tri-City from Need for Speed Undercover. Uh, but that bridge, as we know, never opened. Plus there are a few roads that still remain closed till this day. Personally, given the choice, I would rather still have Need for Speed World either operate as an offline game, or a game that allows players to create private servers similar to Minecraft. However, I know that is very difficult for the developers and stuff like that, so I have high doubts that that will happen, and so I respect the decision of closing Need for Speed World. Still, for me at least, I don't think I really have the time to enjoy the last moments of World since, in fact, most of us don't really have time due to school and other commitments. But for me, I will try and invest a bit of time and create a small series of videos perhaps. Because what I liked about World was it introduced the Team Escape mode, which really is quite impressive to be honest. And it does show whether you are playing along with bastards who will just go and finish the whole Team Escape and make others unable to escape. Or those who would wait near the finish line just for you all to make sure everyone escapes. Anyway, um, I guess that's pretty much what I have in this video. But I may create some content on Go before it really ends somewhere in July, I think. So stick around my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.